monster by Naoki Urasawa would probably be something you have not seen before in an anime. Gone are the mecha and magical trappings of other shows. This series is a taunt thriller set in modern day. The story follows a skilled Japanese surgeon named Tenma, who is practicing at a hospital in Germany. He is pressured to perform a surgery on a wealthy politician, but instead decides to jeopardize his career by doing the right thing, saving a boy with a gunshot wound. Or was this the right thing? The kid ends up becoming a charismatic serial killer, and Tenma feels responsible for this monster being loose in the world. He tries to stop the boy's killing spree, but soon finds himself the main suspect in the killings when his adversaries at the hospital were murdered. The show has many cliffhanger moments that will keep the audience engaged and interested in finding out what happens next as the plot thickens. So if you're looking for a change of pace, then I'll definitely recommend this thriller that had me on the edge of my seat far more than any Hollywood movie has ever managed to do. Neon Genesis Evangelion. Oh come on, you know it's going to be on this list somewhere. But the plot when boiled down is essentially a group of teens pilot giant mecha robots to save the earth from aliens. That doesn't sound like much, but when you watch the show it actually has a very deep plot and one of the main focuses was not the giant robots but the character interactions and their disturbed little lives. It's filled with a lot of drama, especially surrounding the character Shinji Ikari, who is called to pilot these giant robots, but has no interest at all. Some people may call this character emo, but I really like that he was the polar opposite of a lot of other uh, main heroes in Mecha, or pretty much most anime shows out at that time. It has a lot of gripping dark scenes and the plot definitely goes places where you don't expect it to. So uh, I highly recommend this anime um, and I'm surprised to find out that nowadays many people might not have seen it so definitely check it out. It might be a little bit older one but the animation still looks good and the plot is definitely there. To get a taste of this show, here's a little clip that um, is basically the first time Shinji is introduced to being a pilot of these giant robots. Welcome to the NHK is a series that manages to balance going from laugh out loud hilarious moments to all of a sudden a touch and drama the next. It follows Sato, a hikikomori, which is a nerd who shuts themselves out literally from the outside world. I find it very interesting that the anime and novel were written by an actual hikikomori as he dealt with his struggles to come out of his shell. 
I'm sure many people can sympathize with the character's feelings of loneliness, and this makes the show a lot stronger if you can connect to the main character. He meets a girl, Misaki, who makes it her personal mission to help him out. But it's going to be kind of difficult because Sato has some other issues. He also believes that the Japanese TV network, the NHK, have a grand conspiracy to make people into hikikomori. In the show, there is a lot about otaku culture, like him making a dating sim with his friend Yamazaki. Becoming an addict to an MMO. Shut up! You're so annoying. Who is one of your parents? Nah, it's just an idiotic brat. She's always hanging around and telling me I'm a Kikamori or a failure, stupid crap like that. No way! How can someone call you a failure and you're in level 31 magic knight with a spirit sword? There are a lot of quotable gems in every single episode, and you actually may find yourself throwing them in the conversation with your friends. It isn't often that something actually makes me laugh out loud, or root for the characters, or even yelling at the screen when they do something that is so frustrating, like, why did you do that, Sato? Gosh. Through the series, the characters do grow a lot. It may not feature an epic battle to save the world, but I find myself more drawn to this real-life struggle. Though I may not subscribe to a lot of otaku culture, the struggles of feeling alone hit home for me, so maybe that is why the show is so high up on the list. It means something to me, and I find that some of the best anime, they aren't just a simple escape from reality, but the best ones connect with us and mean something to us. So definitely check out Welcome to the NHK.